I'm joined by Dinara Wagner at last a chance to talk to you here in the in the press center we'll talk about the game in a moment but just give me your your impression on on this your balance on the first half of the tournament yeah i'm finally happy to get back on the road because after three loss it was really heartbreaking because every loss was either um, like uh, very painful or it was like I was over embarrassed after the first one but now I'm happy to be back and I finally managed to make a draw with Black. So you've done two consecutive draws it seems that you sort of made a sort of stop loss on the on the bad on the bad uh, three three results but one of those games i think against M muzichuk mm -hmm. you were really on the verge of winning that game it was very close for you did that uh, were you able to sleep correctly that night uh, after after that uh, that tough defeat yeah i couldn't fall asleep till 3 a.m because i was imagining 26 in my head and i even saw this move i was just like oh, okay d6 is probably even better it will finish game immediately and completely burned queen c6 but okay it happens so what to do i played a very nice game and i'm happy with it even though the result was not uh, as good as uh, the game was so let's get back to the game Today, you are playing with Black against uh, Tan Zong Zing, former world champion, a very strong player, and actually won a very good streak lately. So, these 45 minutes that you use to think about to move in a more or less theoretical position, do you think you should solve this problem for future games and tournaments, this idea of spending so much time on only one move? Yeah, it's the same problem as the last Grand Prix, but this time I was calculating this b5 or b6 move, but somehow the position after uh, b5, knight e5, knight d5, knight c3, knight e5, knight d5, e, d, d, seemed really unclear to me. I saw that f-pawn is moving for white, probably uh, um, it's equal, but I didn't like I didn't want to play it. And then, of course, it was better than what I did in the game because I thought, okay, CD, and I will somehow develop my white light square bishop. But, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. So you you ended up in a, a worse position in the opening. Not lost, obviously, but a worse position. Yeah, worse. And then suddenly, she plays G4. What were you thinking when, she, when you saw that move? I was happy because it's what I want. I... Uh, Otherwise, I have to make some moves, which is really hard in this position. And this way, I at least have a clear plan. Okay, now she goes all all in, and um, at least I had some move to make. And when she sacrificed the pawn, yeah, after g4, knight g4, at least I was suffering for something, <laughs> for one pawn. Hmm. At some point, even after this uh, pawn capture, you were able to finish your development. You got back a bit on the clock. At least she spent much more time. Did you think you might have a chance to win the game? Or were you always thinking, I need to get at least a draw in this position? No, no. I understood that I'm already better. I have a clear pawn up and two bishops, which is good. But I was just trying to make moves, normal moves. And in the end, after time control, I thought position is equal. And I screwed it up somewhere on the way. But it was fine. It yeah, it's um, it's not like I was only playing for a draw. It just uh, turned out to be like this in the end. It was a tricky position. It wasn't easy for, for both players from my point of view. Yeah. Congratulations on, on the result and I hope you have a very good second part of the tournament. Thank you. Thank you.